So hey guys, today I'm gonna go look at this parked car that's been sitting down in the woods. Looks like it's been there a while, and I thought we'd just go take a look at it. There's a few cars out here. Now here's the 944. An early car without a hatch. What little bit of carpet is back here is completely rotted. Let's walk around it for a moment. I bet in the summertime, you know that kudzu and ivy is in bloom. Things well hidden. Front banks is in pretty good shape. Always neat fenders and hood. Front balances. That door looks pretty, pretty good. Oh, wow, it's pretty straight body. Interesting car. I'm gonna see if this door opens. Good spare here. So let's put some white faces on here. Was a little tough to shut. Let's go on in here, here. There's the engine. He said it was running. And Someone came and stole the computer out of it. And it was sitting in the junkyard. So now it doesn't run, of course. It almost stay up by itself. And Oh boy, it's been a lot of water in here. Look at these gauges. Switches though. Manual latches. A oh, little bit stiff. They're there. Alright, I'm going to be getting a few parts on this car. Look at the manual sunroof latches. And those gauges. I was able to get them cheap, so I thought, why not? So 
It's all right, I got the latches off now, and I'm getting ready to remove the gauges. You can see that someone's puts three LEDs in the dash here. I'm not sure what that's for, but you can see they also replaced the conical covers with some flat covers, and now you can't read the gauges. Those conical covers are actually supposed to reduce glare and cut down on reflections. Let's see if we were driving here. Then at certain times you're not even going to be able to see how fast you're going with these flat glass covers. Alright, I've got the gauges out now, and I also got my latches. I was also looking at the sun visors here, but they're in pretty bad shape. And you can see the clip here, and it just disintegrates. Alright, I have all my parts now, and before I leave I thought I'd do another quick walk around. Alright, I thought I'd take another look at this engine. I got the hood to stay up now. And I'd really like to come back and pull this engine one day. I'd like to have it as a spare. And uh, this car also has a manual steering rack. Let's see it down there. But it's so far in the dirt, I don't know I'll be able to get it anytime soon. I also figured out why this door is so beat up here. Looks like someone removed the door catch. And uh, no, I think it's going all the way open. I guess someone was kicking on it or something. Keep the big dent in it to get the fender there. But the fender looks to be in pretty good shape considering. But this door is completely gone. So here's a look at some of the other cars that are out here as well. a minivan here. Mm -hmm. Got it sitting down in the dirt. Got a boat over here. We got an engine here. 
going to take like a small block shed. Must be a nice shape too. <laughs> Got new belts on it. Looks like it has a new paint job on it. A few hoses. Not sure what it's doing out here. The boat, and we got a roll back here. Roll for the engine on the back. We got a Nissan here, looks like that one's been swinging an axe into the trunk. And into the side. We got a seat. Straight six. Chevy here. Someone's pulled the engine out already. It looks like it's way down in the dirt. Sorry guys, I just got home and I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I pulled out of the parked car. You can see I've got my gauges here and I may make a video on cleaning these up. I think they would look fantastic with some orange needles instead of these yellow ones. And I may go back to the conical covers just to cut down on some of this reflection. It gets bad sometimes and you can't see anything at all. Anyway, I got the oil pressure gauge and the clock. Then I got a turn signal stock and the covers. Then I picked up the manual sunroof latches but you may see more videos on this car I'm thinking about going back and pulling the engine and also getting that manual steering rack so stay tuned for that so, alright I've got these new gauges here and I thought I'd set them up on the dash to let you see what it's like having flat glass on your gauges I've actually heard a few people talk about wanting to do this conversion and this is exactly why the factory didn't use it so as you can see, I have the sun directly behind me and the light is spilling onto the gauges and you can't really see how fast you're going and you wouldn't be able to see how much fuel you have and things like that. Now compare that to these gauges that are stock. There's no reflection on them whatsoever and you can clearly read everything that's going on. Alright guys, that's just about going to do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm uploading brand new videos every week now. Also check us out on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below. And until next time guys, I hope you have a happy new year.